Thank you. Welcome again. So my speech uh, is about uh, the theme of the of the day, and my objective is to, to introduce the concept of conditioning process data. So um, here is the figure. Yes. So we will go quickly through what digital transformation is in the processing industries. So we will be introducing the concept of what we call the industrial plant data set and how this data set is to be conditioned. Then uh, uh, our idea is to give you an insight of what the industry is demanding to PIMSOFT. We think this may be a good way to introduce and give uh, some substance to the team. And finally, we'll see what kind of digital transformation will be uh, transforming Sigma Fine in the near future. So basically, okay, big data digital transformation, okay, we all know about this. Uh, we, we, just to play, we try to, to get a trend, from, this is a Google trend, of the interest of your time about big data and digital transformation. And you can see big data is the blue line. So let's say half a decade ago, it becomes something in the mouth of everybody. And this uh, was essentially a consequence of the adoption of many different technologies, bringing all this, this huge amount of information and data available. So we, we, we can say this is, was uh, uh, light, uh, like a, con a consequence. This was not something expected or planned. And then uh, in the red line is showing the interest about the digital transformation. And uh, we can see on the other side that this is uh, increasing on the very last year. And this means that the digital transformation is a consequence. So what we are leaving uh, is that the attempt to build something on the huge amount of data uh, now available. And this is about uh, all the kind of initiative that Bernard was introducing uh, in, in the market. Then digital transformation typically encompasses more industries. So uh, we have been seeing that at the beginning it was not so fancy in the process industries. It was more about uh, other fields. But still, if we just Googling uh, uh, the internet, uh, we can see that uh, even in the process and manufacturing industries, digital transformation is already something in place. We have you, most of you are involved in some specific initiatives and uh, we, we, we are seeing that uh, every big vendor in the market is organizing an uh, event uh, with the title Digital Transformation, like things of today. So what is the journey to digital transformation? Well, we can say we started uh, decades ago with uh, a sort of digitization, so we started converting with the first uh, uh, analog to digital converter, so we were really processing uh, data. Mm -hmm. Then uh, along the years, uh, uh, okay, we started to process a uh, uh, larger amount of information, and uh, a, a clear example of this first digitalization phase is, uh, and I think uh, most of you know about this, is the Pi system. So this is nothing new. We are, calling, uh, we are talking about digital transformation, but if you think the Pi system, which was developed uh, in the 80s, probably the first, uh, the first Pi system, was the real uh, ancestor of uh, a system capable to collect, process, distribute a uh, huge amount of data. But now Digital transformation is something more because it, it involves not only system and databases, it involves people, it involves the capability to interconnect different systems. So we could say that in this case, what is really important is not the technicality of having a database, a system infrastructure, but what is important is about uh, is the, the data set we can build intercorrelating these different systems and people. So we will say that the unit of measure of the digital transformation is to build a meaningful data set and process it in order to get some business and process value. So what is this data set? Okay, we try to give a name and uh, since we are in the field of the process and manufacturing industries, we name it in the industrial plant data set, meaning 
that this is the amalgam of a different set of information which are all useful to solve business uh, requirement or to address new way of managing our uh, facility or our industry. And so these may be used for different purposes, okay, and we will be seeing today many different usage, okay, from a new customer and from Pinsoft uh, representative of uh, what uh, this data set is. Mm. But here this introduces a problem. For the data set to be usable, okay, you need some readiness, okay. You all know that if you start processing data, especially if you are doing some, uh, let's say, predictive uh, or uh, advanced manufacturing uh, application, uh, you need uh, some uh, data which is, let's say, ready to be used. Otherwise, you will discover some problem in your result afterwards, okay? So we, we, we are seeing that in this digital transformation journey, it's very important to get the readiness for the industrial plant data set in order to be able then to implement the next phases. The next phase is uh, here we are, uh, another way to read this slide, uh, instead of saying see, understand, test, and automate, you can replace this word with uh, uh, monitoring, diagnosing, uh, predictive, prescriptive. It's the same concept. You start uh, for example, talking about the Pi system. You have been starting using the Pi system to monitor the process, then you started to implement some diagnostic on the system, then in order to feed some predictive analytics, uh, in order then to, in the future, maybe to reach some prescriptive result. But if you don't have a solid base, the, and this is our job, your result may be, let's say, biased. And, this, and here we are coming to the theme of the, of the day. So all is about conditioning, okay? Conditioning, we prefer to use this word because, uh, okay, you know SimaFine because SimaFine is a nice, let's say, mass balance uh, technology or is a data reconciliation technology. But data reconciliation is a technique, is not our real object. It's a technique we can use. There are ma other techniques uh, we will be seeing there are, okay, data validation, there are gross error detection, there are, let's say, uh, tracking algorithms. All these set of tools is conditioning the data set in order to make the data set ready to be processed. So basically conditioning is how we bring things into the desired state of use. What is this state of use? It's, this is about you you know what is your state of use. This may be different in the industry by industry, but conditioning is this action. So as uh, in this room we are conditioning air, as maybe this morning somebody conditioning skin, or as uh, in a process uh, you condition the crude oil in order to be prepared for being processed. Okay, SimaFine is about conditioning data. So bringing data into the desired state of use. And now I would like to play just one minute of a movie showing what happens when you don't condition data. Jack, it just might be a feed water leak. Which valve? Can't really tell. Check the isolation valves. You're going to need that feed water later. You want to go down there and do it by hand? Do it. Please go back to their stations. We'll try to handle the goddamn feed water. Hey, Jack. What? Look at this water level indicator. Water level's low. Well, this says it's high. Well, that's it. That's it. So, so this movie was the China Syndrome, late uh, 70s. So the problem was uh, uh, in the, the reactor, in the nuclear reactor. So we, the guys, the Jack Lemon, 
so the ship supervisor took a decision based on an, ind on an indicator wi which was saying the retro water level is high, but then they understood in reality it was low, okay? And this generated, uh, okay, the disaster <laughs> in the movie. Obviously, this is a movie from f of, uh, 40 years ago, so those, uh, they, they, they didn't have any digital system. But, uh, and so they couldn't, uh, let's say, match the two indicators online, okay? But, so today we have now smart sensor, we have even the analytics on the age, okay? But still, uh, okay, we have, we, have, we have other kind of issues. So we can have data losses, we, the meter could be defective, even error in entering data, transformation error. I mean, there are many, many other, let's say, digital issues digital issues that may affect our data. But let's suppose that we are so good that we have the best meters, the best uh, technology in validating such meter on the field. Still, we may suffer problem, and I would like to introduce a case, a real case, uh, really showing which is the subtle okay, uh, problem you may suffer without conditioning data. So this is uh, a real case about uh, uh, a, fur a refinery furnace where the customer is interested in measuring the efficiency of the furnace and the percentage of oxygen in the flue glass in the flue gases so they are acquiring data they have a pi system they are acquiring data some of this data is then is also transformed so they are running some analytics uh, transforming and coupling a different signal to build some indicators and they use their own front end to show up uh, with nice indicator, efficiency, and uh, oxygen. But then what they did, they tried to correlate uh, this information to see if this information was really responding to the expected behavior of the two indicators. And they found what? There was no correlation between efficiency and oxygen. Even if this was calculated through good, uh, supposed to be good meter and with the right formulas, and all the calculation chains was fine. So this data set, and this is a data set, was not really usable. So what they did, they put together some uh, conditioning, okay, implemented by Simafine. And what happened, what happened that uh, the new data set appeared like this. And this is indeed uh, is the expected correlation between the efficiency and the oxygen in the furnace. So higher the oxygen in the gases, lower the efficiency. What happened in the middle? Nothing magic, nothing magic, something you already know. So Simafine was configured in this case to perform a mass energy balance together with some thermodynamic calculation. And the outcome was a new data set that was indeed respecting the, uh, the supposed uh, um, correlation. So what does it mean? That the original data set was good in terms of uh, calculation and acquisition chain, but there were some error, subtle error in the measurement, maybe some biases, okay, that was uh, indeed affecting the calculation of the key performance indicator. So now this company, what they are doing, they are calculating the same indicator, but on the condition and data set. So this is indeed what we are doing with Simafine, what we mean for conditioning data. So is this something new? Well, no, because uh, most of you, you are using Simafine, so we can say that production, production accounting, composition tracking, health reconciliation, all those are way, ways of conditioning data already in place since many, many years, okay? So I, I would, what I would like to do is maybe to, to tell you what we are, what we are uh, requested to implement or uh, from the uh, industry side. So, you know, okay, ourselves, uh, our, we are uh, involved in different discussions. So some, sometimes we are uh, triggered by the operational side, some other times we are triggered by the IT side. Okay, so we have to, let's say, we have to play this game, okay? And the, the kind of requests are quite different. So from the OT side, for example, we recently, we have been asked by an after company to 
reconciled very quickly the data from the uh, from the uh, wells in order to be able to support operation so the in this case they are not able to really do the um, back allocation to of production to the wells and they needed uh, they need this information not for not for not just for accounting but also to drive their operation so in this case the key point is that uh, they are requesting simafine to play a game of every 10 minutes okay another case uh, this is a midstream company they have uh, let's say they are in the business of providing uh, gas storage services those they have uh, huge caves where they store the gas for third party so they invoice uh, their operation the gas the gas is still property of the of the, their customer in this case they need simafine to monitor the utilization of this service and the consequently they use this data in order to build to uh, invoice their customer so here in is the for them is important to reconcile the inlet outlet uh, gas flows in other case this is kind of classic case we have a refinery in this case they want to use simafine on a hourly uh, base uh, because they want to um, they want to compare the uh, theoretical uh, uh, refinery yields coming from the scheduling system with the actual uh, numbers coming from the field and they have to reconcile because otherwise the vector of the refinery yields coming from the field will be subject to the error we have been seeing before so they reconcile the yields and they compare the two vectors in order to drive a better operation decision so actually they have in their company this kind of dashboard where the two vectors are always comparable not by operation people and finally um, we have a uh, there is another company in the, in the chemicals uh, the logistic manager in this case uh, is more interested in conditioning data in order to get uh, a good estimation of the product uh, qualities okay you know that sometimes uh, I mean you sample from the labs are uh, instructed uh, every few days uh, okay but uh, when they got the, the result it's too late so they want to, to have an estimate of these qualities and therefore, in this case, Simafine it run uh, in, at a higher frequency in order to get this estimate, in order to drive a better operation decision in the logistic chain. What happened on the other side? Those, the, the ones that we have been seeing before, are example of uh, OT requirement. On the IT side, what we are seeing uh, is that, uh, yes, okay, uh, I am the head of innovation. This is a, a chemical company, fine chemical company. They have implemented the, the infrastructure, okay? And they have implemented this in the private cloud, so they have, uh, let's say, the tool uh, available. However, they understand that in order to respond to their OT side, uh, it's not just sufficient to provide the data. They need, to provide, they need to provide data with the right quality, okay? And this is the theme of the day. Also, even more specific, uh, this is a case in the pharma industry. They, uh, they are implementing a machine learning solution. They want to predict the quality and the duration, the best, qu the quality and duration of the batch based on the uh, process condition. But uh, in order to train the model before and then to run the model, they obviously need a well-conditioned data set. Otherwise, the machine learning uh, staff will be learning some biased data biased pattern and the decision will be then biased okay so this is a, a very a case very actual so what we recommend is that before you start using machine learning ai solution data quality is very very important sigma fine is one piece of this solution and finally also there is a, a need from the side to be able to use this technology in a way that this is easily expandable scalable also uh, usable in for example in this case this is a company that is opening a new facility in the far east and they don't want to go through 
a complex uh, project uh, uh, establishing a completely new infrastructure in, in that place. They want to reuse their digitalized infrastructure, where Simafine is one piece, in order to be able to serve these new businesses fastly, okay, and, uh, and still keeping the same approach they're using with the uh, local sites. So what is the role of Simafine in this? Well, the role of Simafine so is the role of being the data quality provider in this real-time data infrastructure. And uh, which is our, let's say, specialty? We are a model-driven system of checks and balances. We want to stress this because, okay, we are not a pure data-driven solution. There are, there are many, many data-driven solutions. So uh, we were mentioning before machine learning technology. But using Simafine and using the model, and the model contain your knowledge of your facility, you can refine this data in order to be used also for data-driven solution later. Okay. And also Simafine, it's not only a technology, it's a practice. So once this is established, you can monitor this practice. We will have later a presentation showing you some metrics to measure the data quality produced by Simafine and to track it. Then, in order for Simafine to be able to sustain digital, this digital transformation, okay, Simafine need, needs also to be digitally transformed. So you see two logos for the one for the ones uh, who, didn't, who, 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 doesn't, who don't know, uh, the left logo is, was the logo of the Simafine Free. Okay, it was the old system. This logo has uh, almost uh, it was uh, the early 90s. Okay, so and uh, the the other one is the new logo. So what we are trying to do in Pinsoft is to perform this shift. So from an engineering tool to a system of checks and balancing that is living together with other application in your ecosystem. Very important, we want to move from single context to multiple context. So probably most of you, you are using Simafine in a specific context. For example, I am reconciling the daily figures of my refinery. But Simafine can be used also, we have seen, in, and we will be seeing today, uh, in other context, uh, and this, like, uh, I would like to perform a, a quality tracking or I would like to perform an energy balance in a different time frame, for example, but still using the same system, still using the same model. This brings new needs, so we have to be able to run Simafine not only monthly, daily, but also hourly or in nearly real time, and the case of the furnace is an example. Um, but if you are if you are running Simafine in nearly real time, we have to be able to run Simafine unattended, and this is also a capability we are introducing in Simafine. Obviously, these apply only to certain contexts. So we are not thinking that you guys to run a daily balance of Simafine for a refinery unattended. But if you want to run maybe the balance of a single process unit of your refinery, this can be run unattended every hour, maybe. Obviously, this means that uh, Simafine needs to be highly integrated with the rest of the system because we don't want to lose our time in getting data, cleaning up data manually. This is to be done automatically. And also, as, as, uh, as Simafine is used uh, uh, more and more in different contexts, uh, we need to support a collaborative environment for the users of Simafine. This means that Simafine has to be used con in the s at the same time by more people simultaneously okay and uh, again uh, very important uh, and uh, i believe this is the the most important uh, shift we have to make uh, we have to move uh, our uh, technology from a client server technology in order in order to be able to deliver simafine as a web app okay so this is the shift this is our digital transformation and uh, I would like to show you, okay, an example. Okay, just a moment. Okay, since uh, what uh, what I was introducing is already 
most of this is already available. This is the, is the example of the data set I was talking about. So here we can see the two data set, the as measured and the conditioned data set. Each, uh, this is about, uh, I think, three, four months of data. Each small circle is representing one hour of uh, uh, analysis. And uh, uh, basically, this is, this is uh, live data, is a courtesy of this customer who is showing uh, a piece of uh, his operation. And uh, so on the left, we have uh, the, the data, the two indicator efficiency and oxygen. And you can see this is not showing any correlation. On the right side, uh, we have the real stuff. If you select uh, each color represent a different uh, batches, batch, in this case, we are in a refinery, so each batch is a, is a crude campaign, and you can see the difference. Okay. You can also see the difference between the performance of different batches and how they, position, they are positioned in the, in the graphs. So, uh, have you noticed, you noticed that this is not semifine? Okay. This is Power BI. So in this case, uh, the customer decided to implement a stack of application where Simafine is playing a role. In this case, uh, Simafine is running in the background every hour. And then the results are made available to a uh, BI tool. In this case, it's Power BI, but it could be whatever, whatever kind of BI tool. Okay, can you switch back to 